Hey dudes and welcome back to another tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create long shadows in Inkscape. So the last tutorial I made was making simple shadows. It's just the Gaussian shadow and the flash shadow. So in this one is this one is very useful if you like creating icons and you just want to make it a little bit more trendy because uh, the long shadows are quite trendy for now and I've been seeing that from college humor and my friend just likes doing it and I think he just made money out of that because he designs icons for that so anyway let's just make a simple a simple uh, icon or logo if you may let's just make this one and let's say it's Leaf. For some reason, that's the first word I ever thought. Okay, and let's just make align this in there. Mm, okay, or let's just not change it because let's change it to something better. Okay, so I'm um, this is. I'm using text rather than an icon so it, since they have different steps. This one has extra steps that you need to take before doing so. So first step you need to do is, of course the text is just a text, and, but when you realize it when you're doing this, just make sure it's uh, an outline or a vector. So just control shift C as you can see that it has become a vector but they are grouped vectors so you need to control shift G but you don't need to group them you can group them again if you want to control G but don't uh, just go to path union or control plus since I'm on a laptop that doesn't really that work that way I make plus and as you can see it's all a vector now. Yeah, make sure it's the vector first. So yeah, and everything is in union. And also, if you have very complex uh, shapes, just make sure duplicate that with duplicate that and make a union of it. Basically, create a copy of the outline. That's where you're gonna base the design is. So yeah. So now that our logo leaf is now um, in one vector, let's go and control D to duplicate that, go to object and transform. And as you can see the transform panel, and if it all it says that if you go right in the object goes right when it's positive numbers and vertical goes up when you use positive numbers so let's I'm gonna try to make the object in the lower right as you can see we go and we'll try to make it to the lower right so first off I need to go horizontal by 500 pixels and vertical in negative 500 pixels to make it exactly 45 degrees enter and click apply as you can see it's not enough though so gotta make adjustments in control z let's make that 1000 make negative 1000 click apply perfect now select those two by shift clicking and go to extensions generate from path interpolate now see here so it's basically all you need to know is interpolation steps so yeah that's basically it so I'm um, I made this 500 or you can make it upper higher if you want to just click, click apply and let's just um, wait for the interpolation to begin Okay, there's that. And as you can see, basically this is the long shadow, so yeah. So let's try to make it another color so it's not confusing. 
Okay, now you need to ungroup this, or just by doing Control Shift G again. Of course, it's gonna load slower because for slower computers. Let's go to uh, Path and make it a union. There. And as you can see, don't worry, the logo you just made is not gone. It's just covered up by the interpolation of these thing of the of both logos. Yeah, uh, lower this. As you can see, it's there. And just delete this and select. Okay. Now duplicate the add background image because you gotta use it. Control D. Then select this shadow and go to path intersection. So yeah, this is basically if you want to just make it quick, you can do this and turn and just save it as a PNG. But as you can see, it's not really perfect. Need to clean this up before anything else, especially if you like uh, higher, uh, higher or larger res things. For for of course, because when you uh, use this in a higher resolution, you will n notice <laughs> those staggered lines. So let's clean that up. Click, click the shadow, and let's just delete these. I'm just making this quick. It's a very long process. Yep. Um, this making you an idea. I'm just giving you an idea. You just select those two points, as you can see, and make them straight. So they're very clean and nothing staggers. You need also need to do in every single one of them. But we're not gonna do that because the tutorial will be too long. Or I could cut the video, but I don't feel like it because this tutorial is getting a little bit too long. So what about if you want something gradient? You can do that too. So let's go to the fills again, fill in stroke, like this, and click the linear gradient. So let's use the gradient tool and make this and hold control so it's very, uh, it uses 40, uh, constrained angles. I'm using 40 degrees, so it's gonna be 40 degrees. As you can see, it's perfect. Right there. Let's just make this to make it, you see it better. Let's make this yellow. Nope, that's way too stark. Uh, let's try something uh, blue. There, and make this darker. Let's choose this. This bad is gray. Mm. So, okay. Just making sure. Change the opacity of this again. You can change everything because it's very easy. So, and there you go. Uh, long shadows in escape just make sure you clean the edges before you finalize everything so yeah, that's basically it so dudes i'm new creator see you later